Smash that ground! We're back at the temples! Happy birthday. Oh, okay, yep. I know exactly what the gimmick is at this level. It's lava! Uh oh. Oh no! And I have to do it without Diddy. Ooh! That's a bad! They don't hide him on the left either. I'm gonna give this the same as I gave the last level that gave me problems. 20 tries before I bust out the items. You're on fire. Hold on, I have to roll for that, don't I? Yes, I do! Second life. Uh, third try, that is. Okay. I'm pretty sure getting crushed by these things is also an instant death. That's not worth it. That's not worth it either. What am I doing? Nothing worth doing, that's what! <laughs> Okay. Uh-oh. Those guys are on fire in addition to being whirling dervish guys. Oh no! Man, damn it. Life 4. Uh, I'm pretty sure that Tiki showed up either at or a little before I deserved that. The halfway point. Life 6! Diverted by the falling thing. Life seven. Whoops. Double whoops. Eight. <laughs> you can count really fast with this game, apparently. Oh no, it's not. It's equally dangerous. <laughs> you can get jumped over. Oof. Okay. There's nothing there. Uh oh. Oh no! <laughs> I ran out of wait time. Number 10.
have these guys to deal with. Ah! There goes my one hit. These guys are chasing me, something fierce. Oh good, they died. There we go. Oh, platforms. Thank you very much. But not that much! Oh lord! These guys are coming. Ooh, the lightning guys are not terribly agile. I don't care about that. I do care about that, though, but not as much as you think. Uh-oh! I made it bad! I did make a bad, but it was almost good! <laughs> Number 11. <sighs> it's a long segment to do flawlessly. Take me 20 lives this time. <laughs> Excellent. Now we get rare orb number six. If you guys are curious about where they hide the puzzle pieces in this stage, they hide them in the walls during the ascent, and you have to pay a lot of attention to find them. I don't feel like looking for them any more than I already did. Okay, now we fight the boss. After that little side excursion that cost me a few lives. Thugly's High Rise. And if the name sounds vaguely familiar, well, love your hats, because we're going to visit yet another one of those traditional Donkey Kong traditions. That ground. <laughs> okay, did he? And we're gonna barrel into. So you remember, remember Mugly. So Donkey, you know how there's always that one boss that's the palette swap of the other bosses. Well, instead of Mugly, now we have his older brother Thugly. <laughs> Just gotta zoom up a little bit. There he is. So in this case, he's got armor plating and a sharper red horn and a few other things too. Also. <laughs> <laughs> that. Now it's time for a xylophone. Actually, I've heard this guy is alternatively called Xylobone, just because of that look. We're gonna fight him. It takes nine hits. So this is... Well, despite the fact that he's just a palette swap, he's got new tricks. So he basically starts out as Red Mowgli. And yeah, having, Di having Diddy to hover makes stopping on that little weak point he keeps covered by the flaming hot, uh... Whatever. Makes things very much easier. Ow! Nice shot! I want that hard. There we go. He's gonna jump on me this time. And that's something you can't really do anything about. 
Also, let's see, what else is happening? Another charge that I can stop on him for. Three hits means it's time to go crazy! Master Exploder! I think the explosion that hit, if you're on the ground, I think that actually hurts you. So pay attention. Next comes fire! That'll get you if you're not expecting it the first time, I'm pretty sure. Because you have to know he's going to do it. And aside from that one little fire that comes out of his, uh, the little wisps of fire that appear around his mouth, there's not really, hello, there's not really any uh, indication that he's going to do it. Fall over, why don't you? Now give me that heart. Thanks. Get out of here, you. Comes next. He has a, like a three move pattern, he repeats. Including this here slam, which, you know, faster uh, shock is. Next should be the fire breath, if I'm reading him correctly. And then his charge. There we go. Yeah, you only have a limited amount of time to jump on that, too. Although, I think that was the case with Mug. No, Mugly had. Mugly only very rarely covered his weak spot, so you really do have to be fast. Now, part three. Full Master Exploder! It's part three, because he's full red. Uh, I think he went up to the ground to get you, but it is. Uh, oh, what? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> I've never seen that before! <laughs> wow! Fugly can totally just straight up eat you! <laughs> if you don't jump out of the way. That is crazy! <laughs> I'm like, what do I do? Do I shake and get him to spit me out, or... but no. Whatever, let's... <laughs> Alright, let's, uh... I'm gonna assume that's true in all three phases of the fight. Uh, he is charging with his mouth open, I guess. But how did that not... Like, I don't know. Somehow that just wasn't a thing that I needed to pay myself attention to. Okay. Yeah, damn it! Ah! Learning you is not as easy as it looks. Get out of here. Or maybe it is as easy to learn. I'm just bad. <laughs> because I got to hit number 9 on my first attempt, and now I'm just sucking badly. Like, see, I didn't even jump over the slow wave. There we go. I got that heart, but I immediately lost it. Because his hot plates got hot again. Master Exploder! Okay, now it's ducking time. That's some serious heartburn right there. Okay, nope. <laughs> you can't just jump on him. We're in the air, so you can't just jump over it. Oh! Well, that didn't work. <laughs> oh boy! I'm just imagining the, the grabby motions of having Doggy Kong make are like some kind of Kong intimidation tactic. <laughs> hey, whatever works, you know. <laughs> there we go, I managed to get underneath him again. <laughs> That's a cool visual tactic. Next is fire. Done for a long time when he does this. And his underbelly has no plates, of course, so you can just jump whenever. Next is the roll, or the jump. But I roll underneath that. Because shockwaves. 
Shockwave's roll, I guess. That makes sense. Also, if you think about it, I just realized that the wooden boardwalk we're standing on could technically be a giant xylophone if you attached music to it. Take over that. No, thank you. <laughs> Hence the bones. And it's like, oh, they, they did the themes really good in this game. Underneath you again. Next comes the fireballs. Yeah, there we go. Oops, I got a little too close. And then he charges. Ah, oh, yes, I did it. I got a heart for it, too. Now we have... I think it's probably going to turn out well this time. I shouldn't have said that, of course. But, you know, whoop! Partly because I wasn't expecting that to happen. It's gonna fall on me, like, right here. Because why not? Four hits to his one. One would hope that would be enough. <laughs> but I've been known to do stupider things. So, like, for starters, I could very easily forget to jump over his shockwave. Or get hit by another rope all fire. And then get summarily eaten and be forced to, uh... We do section three. Okay, jump in the middle, I guess. Yeah, fix that heartburn. He charges and number. No God damn it! God damn it! <laughs> number nine. There, take that. Get out of here. <laughs> Dinner plates. <laughs> Something about that last hit. It's not as easy as it looks. I'm gonna beat the hell out of you for all you've done. There we go! <laughs> ah, that takes care of that. Catharsis achieved! I got perfect hits, too. <laughs> Something tells me my brother is opening my birthday cake in the uh, corner of my eye. I should probably go take a stop to that. <laughs> Anyway, this has been the latest episode of the Cat Mohawk Show. We crumbled that giant dome bowling ball melon arena. And now it's time to go to the factory on the next episode of the Cat Mohawk Show. It's, it's all smoky and smoggy. That's why you can't see any of it. I just figured I'd point that out. Alright. Later, folks. I'm out of here.